Good afternoon and welcome to the first video of this channel. I'm going to show you how to make a custom moth arrow. Okay, so let's just open up a drawing and it would be a good idea to save it as North Arrow and only let the North Arrow exist in this drawing. Right? Good. Once you've saved your drawing as a North Arrow, it's time to draw your North Arrow. So just go ahead and draw any kind of North Arrow. There we go. So this is a simple north arrow that we've just drew, drawn over here. And then we can highlight it. And then I'm going to say Control shift c so that I can get a base point, which I want right in the middle there. And then I'm going to say Control shift v again to paste it as a block. So now we can delete the lines because we've got the block over here. And this is exactly what we need to create the dynamic north arrow. So once you've selected the block, just go right click and click copy the copy block definition and assign right and then you can give it the name of here i'm just going to say underscore one because i'll probably create some more cool so now it's a block and it's got a name if you select it you'll see the name is not that underscore one. good now select the block and then go to block editor fantastic and then once you're inside block editor you'll see over here that you've got this we're going to do a rotation set so click on the rotation set and then you can see at the bottom it's asking specify base point or any of those things but we are going to specify base point we're going to go midpoint over there and then we're going to specify radius of the parameter right which we'll put over there and that's going to be the angle and the angle we want on zero so just press enter and then your angle will be zero fantastic then you'll see over here is little is a little box over here right so just right click on that and action selection set and say new selection set and then you want to basically highlight all the line work or basically everything click that and then right click and that's it so there's six objects found it's just saying that everything that you selected will rotate when you rotate this block okay cool and then we've got one more thing before we move on the angle you wanted to influence because it's a north arrow, it's going to be dynamic, right? So you wanted to influence the viewport that you are presenting on your drawing. And for that, you'll see you have to come to property label. You see the angle name, you need to make, you need to make it map.view.rotation. And apparently capitalization matters as well. So that just means that you have to type it exactly like you see it over there with, with the capital letters included. Okay, cool. So once you've done that, you can close the block editor, save the north arrow, and now you've got a, you've got, yeah, you've got a, you've got a north arrow. Fantastic. And then what I want to do is I want to show you how to import. So let's just save that drawing quickly. So you save your north arrow drawing. Now it's saved because the asterisk went away. And we're just quickly going to open something from, I'm just going to go to 2022. Okay, cool. As you can see, this is a viewport that we have on this big a new drawing, and you can see the direction of the site is in that direction, right? So what you can do is you select your viewport, and then you'll see at the layout tools you have something. Jeez, but just select it. It's pretty easy. There we go. You select the viewport, so you go north arrow, and you can see that the north arrow you have created is not here. That one looks like it, but it's not exactly the one you're looking for. So you're going to go to the little custom north arrow and then it's going to take a while to load. So just give it a chance. And there it is, right? So it's saying current drawing, which is not exactly what we want because our north arrow does not exist in this drawing. And here we have something else, something I used earlier on for a project. We don't have to look at that. But go to the three dots and we can browse. We'll go to documents, not downloads, man. documents over here. And where did I save it? AutoCAD training north arrow this is the one we want so you open that and this should change your chance so there it says north arrow right north arrow these blocks exist in there but we don't want that normally it's right at the bottom somewhere here is our north arrow right and we can insert okay so i made it at a weird scale but that's fine um we can just scale that down the way we need to okay, there 
and then we'll press R and enter for reference point. So just scale it down. You can scale it to whatever size you need, but for this example, I'll just use this to show you that this works, right? And now this, you see the grip, that's the angle that we put on there, that's the grip that we're going to use to rotate. So when you rotate, you, first of all, you see that the north arrow is rotating as well. And when you click it, you'll see that the viewport has also changed. And this saves so much time to have dynamic things like this, because normally you would first have to rotate the view using D-view. And then you need to find the right angle, put the block of a north arrow in that's not dynamic. And it just takes quite long. And... I mean, if you work in engineering, you know that we don't always have the time that we need, so... Cool. So, now you know how to make a custom north arrow, assign the rotation to it, and link it to a viewport. This should save you so much time. Um, and, like I said, if you work in engineering, you know time is something that we don't have. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you guys in the next one. Peace.